What's up everybody, it's again Ashish from Ashvir Creation. Welcome back to yet another tutorial. Another day, another week. Happy to see again all of your smiling faces. As you guys already know that this is a quarantine period which is going on in the whole world. So it's very important to stay at home. And I know you might feel like boring, but you can do some creative things or you click creative photos at your home. So in this video, I'll show you how you can click creative portrait at your home. And also I'll show you how you can create an amazing creative photo manipulation just like Caleb in Photoshop. So before any further ado, let's get straight into the video and guys be safe and stay at home. So this is the photo which we gonna add it just like Caleb. So very first thing we gonna do is just duplicate and just crop the image that is 8 is to 10 ratio. Just crop that is our Instagram ratio. So just crop that photo. So just you know I'm gonna just crop it in this way. And just hit OK. And now the next thing we gonna do is first of all we'll select the book photo or the book image right. So the very first thing we're gonna do is let's select the quick selection tool from here and just you know roll over the book and just you can make you know all you can also you know use the pen tool to make a selection in a precise way. But I here I am using right now the quick selection tool to you know get a perfect and quick retouch. Now let's create new layer, select the brush tool and just fill this with the white color, right? pure white color you have to fill this book with the color with the help of brush tool so finally here I have filled the book with the white color now we're gonna just add the background to the photograph before adding the adding the background we're gonna just place this book just drag and drop over here and we're gonna just replace it to this white so all you need to do is go to the edit select the free transfer and press ctrl T from the keyboard and just place this somewhere over here now just uh, right click on it and select create a clipping mask so it will only affect the beneath layer right so now just change the blending mode to darken so the next thing we are gonna do is just uh, you know fill this color with the white color so we are gonna just fill this book over here with the white stroke or the pure white color on the white layer now go to this layer and press ctrl T and just right click on it and select wrap and just extend this you can just adjust the book by your way whatever the position you are more suitable you can just place that somewhere over here Now you can see the difference, it is really looking very very perfect. Now uh, we have added this you know map on the book. Now let's just create new, uh, select the brush tool and we're gonna just paint it with the white stroke over here. Here the best thing about this you know we have to you know create or maintain the originalism on the hand. We have to maintain the shadows right. So we gonna just you know erase the unwanted you know that uh, book image which we have added with the help of eraser. So I'll just erase it with the help of eraser. Here comes the very important part, right? So you have to maintain the realistic in order to create a more real look. So we gonna just erase it with the help of eraser. To get the real shadows so you can see the difference now here you can see we have added perfectly the book and overlaid on our book that is a map in file click on open and we're gonna add the background to the photograph so here is the background just drag it and drop over here now we're gonna just press ctrl T from the first of all we go to the filter select the blur and select the box blur to around 35 or 33 would be pretty perfect now go to the uh, edit select the free transform and just pre transform the background in such a way that it should look more realistic below the model layer right 
so you can just place this somewhere over here Now let's add a layer and uh, add a layer mask on the background layer or the photo which we have added. Select the brush tool and just make the opacity of the brush to 100% and just paint it with the white color on the layer mask because we want to add the background so we gonna just erase it with the help of you know a layer mask option. We are not using the eraser because we want uh, you know that perfectly so we are using just this layer mask so that we can undo the selection or erase we have one on the erased some by mistake so we can just undo it so we are using the layer mask option instead of eraser what gonna do is uh, you can just precisely delete somewhere over here with the help of this uh, brush tool on the layer mask this is a very important thing guys we have to keep in mind that you have to make a selection in a perfect and precise way so finally guys we gonna just add the dust particle or the you know bokeh particle fairy dust particle to the photo just charge drag and drop over here press ctrl t to decrease the size now change the blending mode to screen and we're gonna just erase the unwanted bigger particles or big bokeh particles which you don't want you can just erase it with the help of eraser this is totally up to you whatever you wanna delete you can just delete it now guys go to the file click on open and we're gonna just add uh, you know the overlays to the photo so all we're gonna do is just drag and drop over here just select the marquee tool and just select this much area from here press ctrl via copy or cut whatever you want you can just do it now here just go to the filter select the box blur change the blending mode to screen now here just go to the just rotate it over somewhere over here and just uh, place this on the corner of the image now press ctrl l from the keyboard and just make it more darker select the eraser and just delete the unwanted stroke of the color somewhere over here just like this way now just go to the filter and we're gonna just and we're gonna just make it a box filler so just go to the filter select directly the box filler so it will automatically select the previous previous selection now just press ctrl j from the keyboard and we're gonna just add this haze or to the photo with which will create an amazing look to the photograph so we're gonna just place this somewhere over here this is really looking very pretty perfect i guess select the eraser so you can see the difference guys select the eraser and we're gonna just delete it from the face region and also from the on the top of the screen just like this way Now let's again crop the photo for the final touch and the color grading process will start. Guys if you want this preset you can you know I'll just um, give you the preset which I'm gonna do the color grading process. I'll just give you. First of all let's select the subject here because you can see the subject's face is actually very very yellowish. So we gonna just change it to kind of reddish pink or lightish pink color right so just go to the hue and saturation hsl tab and select the orange tone and just make the decrease the saturation of that tone and just make a kind of you know reddish tone on the face this is totally up to you whatever kind of way you want to do you can just do it and just hit ok so you can see the difference we have reduced the uh, uh, redness or the yellowishness from the face now just oh, select all the layers just right click on it and select merge layers and again let's just crop the image for our final touching so go to the filter select the camera filter and we gonna just color grade the process so first of all just make the temperature to around minus you know 15 or 13 would be pretty perfect i guess now increase the contrast a little bit increase the highlights this is totally up to you if you want to decrease then you can just take it decrease right just increase the shadows to pump up the you know, details of the black and just reduce increase a little bit of you know whiteness if you want 
and just decrease the blackness from the photo or just increase it now here we're gonna just change the calibration of the blue primary color to around minus 30 and let's increase some more temperature to around cool so just make it to around minus 30 or 25 would be pretty perfect so you can see the photo your photo is kind of looking very tiggly blue color which is a very perfect and amazing photo to create and just make it an amazing photo effect right so we're gonna just add a matte effect to the photo just click one point over here and just pump up from the bottom a little bit and just make a one point stroke over here now here increase the sharpness of the photo a little bit and we're gonna just add the highlights of two kind of yellowish pink tone right so just make it to around highlights to around third to 42 and just increase it the saturation totally up to you around 35 now change the shadows to around 209 and just make the saturation according to the photo don't add too much of bluish effect because it will look more unreal which we don't want so just make it to around 13 percent would be pretty perfect just add a little bit of vignette to the photo to get a perfect touch only a little minor touch of the blackness on the screen or the border and here we're gonna just increase the saturation of the green primary color just a bit to around plus 12 also the red tone of the primary color to around plus 12 increase the saturation of the blue tone so you can see the difference it is really looking very very perfect let's increase a little bit of statue uh, exposure to the photo guys i have already created this preset for you guys so you can just download this color effect for free links links are in the description guys you can just download this camera preset for free so you can see the difference guys. it is really looking pretty perfect and kind of fantasy look to the photo here's the before and here's the after so guys i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just smash the like button if you're still not subscribed to our channel then do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of our videos and presets also visit our website that is www.ashwirecreations.com and filterpreset.com also guys don't forget to follow me on instagram just type ashwirecreations so guys stay creative stay awesome and stay safe at your home